the World Food Programme is the world's largest humanitarian organisation and our job really is to provide food assistance to people uh, living in countries where they can't get enough to eat and certainly can't get enough of the right nutritious food that they need for a, a, a proper balanced diet. But we also respond to massive uh, natural or man-made emergencies. Just this past week we've been at the front line of the emergency response to the events in the Philippines after Typhoon Haiyan. And our job is really to move the food assistance in but also to act as the agency that provides the logistical support for the entire humanitarian coordinate community when it, it mounts a, a response like this. And if we relate this to sport and we're here talking about rugby, you know, how are you working with rugby in that, in that manner? Well, at the World Food Programme, we've had a 10-year relationship with the International Rugby Board. Uh, we have a partnership called Tackle Hunger, and uh, working with the IRB, we've tried to raise awareness about our work at major tournaments like the World Cups in Australia, in France, in New Zealand, and now we're looking at England in 2015. So having this kind of access to the rugby fan base really gives us a chance to uh, show to people what work WFP is doing out there how the World Food Programme is providing food assistance and how they can support us and help us to do more of what we do so well. And uh, at this event we have a lot of the national unions from emerging countries. Um, how much work do you do with them directly? Well I think it's been really fascinating to meet some of the uh, representatives of countries where rugby is a developing sport because there's obviously some kind of synergy between places like Rwanda or Cambodia where the World Food Programme has a huge presence, particularly working in schools, providing nutrition to growing children and, and countries where rugby is developing and I think the relationship is really uh, focused around this area of nutrition. We are very much sort of uh, uh, of the belief that if you can provide a child with the, the proper nutrition they need when they're growing physically and intellectually, you provide a sort of foundation for them for the rest of their life. And I think the link there to their sporting aspirations, what they're going to go on and do as sportsmen and sportswomen is very, very clear. Nutrition is really at the heart of that and the World Food Programme is all about delivering the right nutrition to allow children to grow up and realise their full physical and intellectual potential.